How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla for you today. As always, hope you're all having a beautiful day wherever you guys might be. Today we have some new challenges. I also have this daily mission, Gauntlets of Qatar Chaos. But we have week 7 missions in the Battle Pass. Just came out. And let's take a look at them. We got 15 bow KOs. Easy. Recovery attack KOs. Wow, 25 of them. That's a lot, but still pretty easy. Uh, KOs within 10 seconds of respawning. That's creative. I gotta say, BMG is doing very good on making challenges creative. For example, I play Rocket League a lot, and the Battle Pass, Battle Pass challenges in Rocket League, it's like the same thing every week. They do like, uh, you have to play with these decals equipped. Uh, or like you have, and I guess it's like the same things over and over and over. At least in Brawlhalla Battle Pass, they are creative with how they do these. Interrupt opponent signatures with weapon throws. That's also creative. Random legend wins. <laughs> that is my favorite one. I cannot wait. That's what we're going to be doing this whole time, by the way. Uh, sword legend wins and then cannon damage. Wow. All right. So I'm just going to be going random and uh, we'll see what we get. Oh, uh, what should I play? I guess I should just do some 1v1, but I don't have to do 1v1. I mean, we could just play anything we want. Ooh, I got glow box. All right. Pretty easy to get uh, recovery KOs with a hammer. I'll say that. And and with blasters both, to be honest. I don't play Cassidy very often. In fact, I don't think I've played her in a few days, but I like Cassidy. She's very good, obviously. All right, going against the Sidra. I was kind of hoping I would get a cannon legend because I need cannon damage, but... I am missing. Ooh, miss that down air. Man, that delight. Bye bye. That was a pretty good little uh, string. <laughs> I'm not the best with Cassidy, so I actually have to like focus when I'm playing with her. Close. You're not the only one that can do that. No! <laughs> the down light into neutral air is such a good cannon kill option. There's one recovery KO. Heck yeah, we got it. By the way, guys, tomorrow is a big day for me because I'm having my third child. That's right. My wife is going to give birth tomorrow and um, it's scheduled. So that's how I know it's going to be tomorrow. So wish me luck on that, guys. I'm, I'm trying to record some episodes in advance. But I don't know if I'll be able to like be recording enough episodes uh, for the next couple days. Nice play, nice play. So if I don't have a video like Thursday, Friday, uh, that's why. And uh, if you want to see the baby, like I'm probably gonna post it to Twitter. So. Follow me on Twitter. That's what I'm trying to say. I need to get this hammer recovery, man. No. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, we got him with the down sig. Oh, that's so great. GG, dude, GG. Let's see. I got random legend wins, recovery attack chaos, one. That's it, man. That is it. All right, let's try again. Ooh, Ragnar, nice. We're definitely going to get a random win with Ragnar. He's one of my best legends, right? I wouldn't say one of my best, but he I know I know how to play Ragnar pretty well. We should be able to get a win here. Ooh, going against some Mordex. I know how to fight Mordex well, because it's like all everybody plays is Scarlet and Mordex. So, I think we got a good chance here. Three, two, Ragnar is strong. He's faster than you think. He's just a good legend. There it is. I barely missed him on that first one. I just got him right in the face on the second one, though. Ooh, nice timing. That side sig, he, he timed it perfectly. Hold that, hold that. Thank you. Thank you. Fireball white right in the face! Like I said, I'm pretty decent fighting Mordex, and especially Ragnar, he's good, man. Give me that random win. Get KOs within 10 seconds of respawning. Oh, nice. Very nice. Oh, and Gauntlets of Katar's KOs. I didn't even think about that. We got two right there. All right, let's do another one. Who do I get? Oh, Azuri. All right, I need more Katar's KOs, so that's fine. Everybody knows Azuri Probably has the best guitars in the game. Probably. Going against Aiden. Ooh, a thatch. You rarely see a thatch. I gotta give him props. You rarely see a thatch. And it's really... I don't understand why, because he's really a good legend. I do a Kindergarten Azuri. With uh, Soulfire Colors. Oh, wow. Don't ask me how that wave didn't hit me, but I'll take it. Boom! You lucky you didn't get dunked even harder than that. You gonna try a ground pound on me, boy? That's another recovery KO. Oh man, the wave. He's not using uh, the best move that Thatch has, man. Cannonballs. You gotta throw him out there.
There it is. No! He could have killed me though. That was nice. I like your thinking. Oh my gosh! I tried to get behind him. Bye bye. <laughs> the the neutral Zigon blaster is not nearly as good as the, the cannonballs. He should have just kept spamming the cannonballs, he would have beat me. Oh uh, GG do GG. Sword Legend wins, Recovery Attack KOs, Random Legend wins, and Qatar KOs in that match. So I hit four different challenges. Beautiful, beautiful. These these weekly challenges are really fun, I gotta say. The only thing is like, oh nice, Rayman. I actually need to play Rayman to level him up. He's one of the few legends I have left that I don't have level 25 with. So I'm trying to get all of those legends to level 25. Alright, going against Zelex. Playing as Azoth. Azoth is a really good legend. Really, really good. But so Rayman's pretty good too. I think Azoth is better of a legend overall. Uh, but Rayman is is nothing to shake a stick at either. He's brave. He's very brave. Oh my goodness, the side sig destroyed. Azoth got a lot of defense too. Probably be smart to like damage him up with the gauntlets and then finish him off with the axe. Wrong, wrong, my finger slipped on the thumb. Very close. Oh, I tried to jump to get out of range and then do a ground pound, but I think trying to do the ground pound got me killed. Hitting with the neutral sig on the gauntlets is so fun. That was nice. Oh man, I touch. I touch. Worth it? No, probably not. Ooh, this is a good game. Uh-oh, 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 oh, the slap got me killed, GG dude, GG. Well played, well played. Like I said, Azoth, it's just, it's just better. I mean, not, I'm not saying I couldn't have won with Rayman. You definitely can beat Azoth with a Rayman, but I just think Azoth, for me, is better. Like, because he's got the bow, man, he's got the axe. I'd rather have bow and axe than gauntlets and axe, but... The signatures are probably a wash. They both they both have good sigs. All right, we're going to Hellboy, going against uh, Sentinel. I really like Hellboy actually. Cross, he's he's Hellboy's crossover for Cross. I really like Hellboy. Uh, Cross has blasters and gauntlets. They're both really good too. And Hellboy's got some really strong sigs like that one. Boom! It, it hit really hard.
Oh, right in the face. Bye-bye. Just had to drop my gauntlets right on his head. Good tracking. He's more comfortable with the guitars. I like what I like his thinking there. Oh, no 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 no. <laughs> Nice one, nice one. Got me with that ground pound, or yeah, down light, and I call it ground pound, because he's literally pounding the ground. Bye bye. He took a while to die. I really like the cell shading kind of graphics on Hellboy, too. By the way, guys, if you enjoy the video, please go ahead and drop me a like. It really helps me out. Okay, that was unfortunate. GG, dude. GG. Alright, guys, that's going to be it for this video, I think. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the new challenges. I already did pretty good. I got six out of eight gauntlet or Qatar KOs. That's pretty good. Look at that. That's pretty good. I, I made good progress. I only played for like 15, 20 minutes. Ooh, I still have one left on this. Oh, a dash thrown weapon. I Man, that is hard to do. I keep forgetting. All right, I have to try to get that one. That's 10 gems too. That's an automatic level. Anyways, guys, this is Lucian Sword. Hope to see you in the next episode. Take it easy, guys.